I'm just gonna cut these off so they're even in length. Um, it's good practice to try to even things up. I've already relabeled everything, so we know what's what. So their labels are here. Um, to prepare these cables for a, for a term, for termination, uh, we need to know what the cable is. This is a, uh, you can look at it right on the side. This is an RG6 quad shield cable. RG6 quad shield cable requires a bit more robust of a connector, which Leviton offers. In order to terminate these things, we need to strip off the uh, outer jacket and the uh, dielectric to expose the inner conductor for a quarter inch or more. We need to have a quarter inch of outer jacket and some of the braid removed and another quarter inch of just the outer jacket removed. This tool does that all in one step. It's a triple cut tool. Um, I find that this is a easier solution to use. So after we've done a few rotations here, we remove the outer jacket and the braid and the dielectric, exposing the conductor. And we take the, the outer jacket and the braid off for another quarter inch, that's done that. And then we take just the outer jacket off and leaving the braid intact. So the tool does that in one shot. Take your braid that's remaining and fold it back. Remember that there are two, this is quad shield, there are two layers of braiding in here. You're only gonna worry about the outer one. So we have to force the connector down on there. See the tube has come out. Let's get that out of the way. And you wanna push the cable on there until the dielectric, the white part, is flush with the end it's, it's almost like there's a cup in there. So we're gonna bring that out flush with the end of the hole that it comes out of. And you should see a very small amount of the center conductor sticking out. That's good. So we'll take our crimp tool and use a, our compression tool and compress this fitting onto the cable. And that's our termination complete for RG6 quad. I'll repeat that for the other four conductors. So at this point we're gonna crimp it together, or crush it together using the compression fitting. And that's it. All right, so now we have four terminated cables.